is a stunning piece of wood. I would have never thought in a million years that that would there have ended up coming out. Don't even see it very well because the it's so shiny the uh, lights reflect off of it. But So this is the project, um, I'm calling it my prehistoric bowl as you can see from the title. The reason being is because um, it's old, chunky and rough around the edges just like me. So. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, nothing else to say really, it's failed, no good. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys next week, fresh new project, one that works, and take care, speak to you soon, and bye for now.
it is here. Good afternoon all, hope everybody's well. Thank you very much for coming over and watching. Um, as you saw, an absolutely amazing turnout for the hashtag week. Um, that's got to be the biggest out or turnout we've had with people sending photographs in. So a massive thank you to each and every one of you guys who took the time and effort to turn a piece and send in the photographs. Very much appreciated. It's what the hashtag's all about. Everybody taking part. So, and as you saw, some great pieces. That video will be going live on YouTube tonight at six o'clock. So the whole world can see it. So everybody's appreciate or everybody's work can be appreciated by everybody. Um, so the title says wood turning. Let's make a mess playing with colors. Well, we did that Friday. So I'm going to do something totally different. Something I haven't done for quite a while. Um, I've got a greens bowls ball here. Greens bowls ball. Yeah. Greens. Um, here. <laughs> greens, greens. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn like a little tiny uh, pot out of it. Or oh, not a pot. I don't know. Would you call it a pot? Small, something. <laughs> small bowl. Lid, a pot without a lid. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we're going to turn something out of it. Um, I've got quite a few of these laying around that my dad gets me because my dad plays greens bowls and he's always bringing me the odd one down that people are throwing away or getting rid of. So um, I thought I'd have a go. Um, the reason being is because when we went to the club meet and a couple of weeks ago, there was a couple of people turned uh, some little bowls from them. Uh, they're Ligman Vita. So is it Vita or Vitae? Whatever. Um, but it's one of the hardest woods in the world. So it's a nice wood, get a really nice finish from it. And uh, that just really, I sat there this morning thinking about it. I thought actually it'd be nice just to do, do that for a change rather than another bowl with some colour. So, I wondered what the burning was. Me thinking. Mm. <laughs> right, so, and I've written myself a note. <laughs> you still forget. <laughs> to play the hashtag week video at the end as well, just in case people come in late and don't didn't see it at the start. So I've written myself a note. So... Please I'm help ask, remind us. So I'm asking you all, <laughs> when we get close to the end, put in the chat, hashtag week <laughs> video. Because if not, I will forget. Even though I've got a note here, I still will forget. So, right. I'm going to go to the lathe. Um, this is going to be between centres to start with until we get a 10 on the end. Um, so I'll go to the lathe and get ready. And Nick will welcome you. Nick's back. Yeah. So Nick will welcome you all in. Good afternoon, everybody. So we have Woodwitted by Colin, we have Dr. Bob, we have Barry's Wood Creations. Um, we have Chris Dodds, we have Roy's the Boy, we have Norman Greenwell. Oh, we didn't start, they have asking if you started early. I think it's just you put the hashtag week on because it was quite a big one, weren't it? Um, Doug Miller at Wood Spun Around, um, Brian at Hartwood, uh, John Mooney, Pete from Twisted Trees, Colin Izzard, we also have Grandpa Jim, Copper Owl Wood Turning, William Kenny, Graham Brown. Um, Lucy the Silver Saver, Bundy Row. Uh, oh, don't. Uh, Steve Hale. Paul Finley would turn at home. Barry Chitty. Andy the Valley would turn a Bundy Row. Robert Broughtwood. Dr. Pop put finally the master will appear. I'm here. I'm here. Of course the master's appeared. <laughs> oh, not heard of this one before. Seiko Designs. Welcome. Welcome. Right. Now Simon at I don't know how you say the first bit. Fi filed coastward turning. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you could tell me how to say that properly. How can he tell you how to say it? Well you no, they, they the put chat. it yeah, they type it in the chat and they put they sort of sound it out for me. Um Terry Bartlett. We have, I think I said William Kenny, I can't remember. Oh, got your problem, mate. Yorkshire Gits on. Joe's on. Hi, Joe. Hope you're well. Hi, Terry. Hope you're well. Um, Uh, 
Brent Beecroft's on, Clint Atwood dancers, Roger Kent. I think I've got everybody. Um, if not, just put a comment in the chat and I'll give you a shout out. Yeah, there were some brilliant balls. It's nice to see everyone's different um, interpretations. Thank you, Simon. He's put a spot on. Adam I Love Wood Turners on as well. And I think, oh, Gentleman Wood Turners on as well. I'm Mark. Colin said the sound's perfect today. Ask because I'm back. Huh? Don't say nothing, Colin. Don't jinx it. Who wormed for you last week? Brian. Brian Walker's on as well. So these. Sorry, got... Barry. We're turning with Barry's on as well. I missed him. I do apologise. Uh, what am I looking for? I hope everyone's well. It's a bit chilly here in good old Narfek. So these have got like a, a plastic bung in them. Oh, I don't really want to be. I don't really want to be grabbing that bung. <laughs> Pete said he's going to mute us for a while because he's finished in learning the difference between cat and newspaper in Spanish. <laughs> John Mooney said he's got a bowling ball, green ball. Hey, yeah, the other bowling ball didn't be able to do, would you? Um, he's frightened to turn it though. One. Sorry, we're turning by Barry. I do apologise, but I feel better now, Nikki. <laughs> you can turn a big ball on ball. Yeah, but they made it a resin, didn't they? Yeah, people have turned them. Nick Zimitty done one. Like ten pin bowl and ball, you mean? Yeah, Carl Jacobson did one. William Acorn Wood Turnin's on as well. Welcome everybody. Hope you're all well. I just really want to get this down to get a a chucking point on it. You're not going to chuck it, are you? Chuck Sorry, you John me. Scarborough. I missed him as well. Look, it's fucking, isn't I? That's because yeah. the chat jumps. And I don't like doing it from the other bit. What's the other bit called? You do it from sometimes? No, I don't like doing it from that. Participation. That's it. So welcome, John, to the chat. Sorry. Where are you based, Seiko Design? Croatia. Oh, is that the one you was on about before? Yeah. Um, always the boy said he made one into a sculptor's mallet. Oh, yeah, I remember that. They are hard. Right, so I want to get... Um, I'm going to use a pair of calipers. To get Why is that first bit white, then, that come off? Is that just the bit that was around the top of it? That's, that's part of the balance on it. The boy is... Uh, to, to um, you know, because they got... Because it looks like resin, that's what I'm saying. No, they're plastic, but they got, like, a weight in them. Because, obviously, they don't go... They don't go straight, do they, so... No, might be. That might be what we want. Might be a bit small, that actually. We'll try it. Should be all right. So we'll just take a little bit of this down. I'm hoping that's going to knock out when I uh, get off. If we turn it down small enough, we should be able to. But these are very, very, very hard. I did one a long time ago as a, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, Pot Piri. Potpourri, pot or whatever it is. Potpourri. Potpourri, yeah, uh, that's the one. Glenn said they don't have weight, the ball is eccentric. Oh, okay.
to give it a bias. That's what Glenn says. There you go, now you know. There you go, you know now. Right, so just going to put a little bit of a dovetail on there. Unchuck that and we'll just turn it around to make sure that we've got a chuck and good chucking point. I will actually just get a little hammer to see if we can knock that out. Graham Hain is on as well. Hi, right, Graham, how you doing? I think that'd go in a chuck like that, but there we go. Only glued in, it was nearly down to where it was anyway. So it's just a plastic disc. It's a bit big actually, could have been smaller than that. Just make sure we get it nice and tight. We're going to leave our centre in until we get it round and get a bit of weight on it because at the moment it's a little bit, it's not perfectly round. So what we're going to do is we're just going to round it off a little bit. Once we get it perfectly round, we can take away our tail stock. So uh, thought that camera was all blurry. Oh. So we're just going to use a bowl gauge just to do some shear scrapes on this, just to try and get it round. Susie Swisswood turn us on. Hi Susie, how are you? She said she's um, half frozen as she just got in from a sub-zero temperature motorbike ride to a winter bike meeting. <laughs> <laughs> We've had freezing fog this morning. Huh? It's gone now though. So... You can see with this, you don't really get strings off of it, you just get dust. And it's very oily. It's a, quite an oily wood. I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. AGK Woodworks is on as well. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Well, he said still got fog here, Steve. How have you, Roy? It's not it's very a... nice here. It's a bit chilly. It's cold. it's cold, but it's not foggy now. I went out and keep clean the burnies out. Terry's got a question, Steve. Can you move the tailstock handle down so we can see the work, please? There you go, Terry. Always one in there. Always one. Never blink and satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the old ones. I oh, know. That's because you need. You should have gone to spec savers. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I want to try and keep a lot of the original shape. Ward Wilson's on. Hi, Ward. Oh. So, so you can see we've still got the the grooves in there. So we'll take those. We'll take them down. And you'll notice on some of these balls, there's cracks in them, like there. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how deep you go. Nine times out of ten, what's the matter with you? Nothing, 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 nothing. nothing. They they'll, they'll stay there. Um, even if you turn out the middle, they most probably still be there. So you can buy these off of eBay or anywhere like that. 
Um, but what you're better off doing is if you've got a local bowls club, they've always got old ones laying around that people have either where they bought new. Um, would say very said not so much of the old, please. Uh, um, where they've replaced them, but be careful with the newer ones because they're not actually wood; they're um, a resin. So, Susie said it was lovely in between the the sun came out, but then the snow returned. All is white here. Quite a bit of snow next to the road. You lucky person. Seiko put now it's getting better. The performance is nice to see. Robert Bortwood said he went to I thought that said Earth. Erif this morning to watch the skaters on the flooded fin. Brian said lawn bowls are weighted on one side to allow the bowl to curve. Most are stamped on the weighted side. I could turn that into oh no, I don't really want a pot, do I? No, I'm not gonna make a pot. Just gonna um like a little sort of Benjamin's on. Hi Ben, how you doing? Hope you're well. He said he's typing on his new keyboard, doesn't sound any different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sound so much clearer, Ben. <laughs> I think I need a new um Robert Sorby bowl guy, just getting a bit short. I'm struggling to sharpen it. Just gonna keep round. I want a nice. I don't want to lose too much of the size, but I want a nice curve on it, so it's like so it looks like a bit of a ball shape. Grandpa Jim, but it's a different accent, Ben. Yeah. Save the William Kenny, a bit of an accent, Ben, but all good. <laughs> You've got the keyboard set in Chinese, Ben. Right, so we're just gonna put a little line on there. We're going to run that. So Dr. Bob said when he was a teenager, he spent summers working at his uncle's five pin bowling alley as a pin setter. Being a yank, I was often the target because the pins were hand set. Five pin? Never heard of five pin. No. I'm just going to take this across here, then we'll remove the tail stock. So we've got a nice, you can see us. Right, so we take the tail stock away. Take the stabber out of it so I don't bang the elbow on it. We can get that. So we'll get this moved out. Oh, she's very uh, brutal.
I'm just doing some little skimming cuts across this top. Clint said, you know what kind of wood? Because he didn't hear. Who? Clint. Clint, Clint at wood. Oh, that's Ligman Vita. It's a, it's a hard wood. Apparently, whether it's true or not, I don't know. They used to make mo boat bearings out of it for the prop shafts and all that. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. So what we're going to do now is I'm not going to finish the outside until we've bored down the middle and got it all hollowed out, then I'll finish it all together. Roy well, just said, look at that grain. It's pretty, isn't it? But like I say, you always get, you, no matter how well you take it back, you're always going to get cracks in it, unfortunately. So being quite hard, we're going to step it up in the force the bits. Charlie Taylor's on. Hi, Charlie. And um, Chris Dodd says, sounds like a Monty Python skit. When I was a lad, we could only afford five pins. <laughs> So we're just gently going to wind this. All right, wait a minute. Um, Jennifer's Craft Creations is on. Hi, Jennifer, how are you? Um, someone else. Well, Len's Handcrafted Wood Signs is on as well. Hi, Len. Thanks everybody for coming over. So it's nice and slow because it's quite a hard wood. But like I say, it's a very oily wood. You can feel the oil in the wood, which I suppose is a good thing. It keeps your tools lubricated. Keep put listening to you now. Just need to order beer, coffee, and petrol. <laughs> petrol? Do they do internet delivery nowadays? Do they petrol? No, in Spanish. Oh right. Spanish petrol must be cheaper. Mm -hmm. Long way to go, isn't it, for your petrol? It is. Tesco's is cheaper. <laughs> Close, I meant. Miller put need more coffee. <laughs> Len said, "What does it smell like?" Um, smells old. <laughs> it does. You know, like when you get an old wardrobe, what's been shut up for a long time. It smells a bit like that. When you used to go around your nans or your grands, and they had an old wardrobe sit there, it smells a bit like that. When you used to get their dresses out and play. <laughs> yeah, I got cork. It's very uh, sticky. Pete said, but Tesco's don't have mountains. <laughs> Chris Dodd said it probably smells like old men. It does. It smells. It's got that old smell to it. Then Pete said, that's just like you, Steve. Oh, that is just you, Steve. Sorry. <laughs> no, I don't believe that, Pete. I've seen you in dresses, mate. High heels. Lucy said, they're watching from Phoenix Emporium Caf. Cheese and Marmite toasty and chocolate brownies. Oh, nice. You know, I've had a lot of people have cheese and marmite. I like bovril. I'm not so keen on the marmite. Marmite's veggie based, though, isn't it? Vegetable based. Mm. Um, would turn our berry said smells like a bit like grass. So Robert said, um. 
on of the few woods that well one of the few woods that sinks in water steve you're right about being used for bearings for shafts yeah. boys the boy said it's very oily wood it is very oily wood, as you can see colin said when he turned his it reminded him of burnt sugar Right. AGK said so he's got to go. Debbie is making me go shopping. Oh, no. <laughs> Take care. Pete said size 13 heels are hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's Lucy said they're wood shopping. Not more wood. <laughs> you know, it's a fetish, don't you? Buying wood like that. Pot, kettle, black. I ain't bought no wood for at least. Before, since November. My coffee table that didn't, hasn't been made yet. Oh, I haven't had a chance. Don't tell me I haven't had a chance. Don't give me that rubbish. I haven't had a chance. There's always something to do. And now you've got some wardrobes to make next. Yeah, I know. And you know she wasn't done yesterday. Yeah, well, she'll have to be away. <laughs> Right. Len said, save the shavings and use it as a polish. <laughs> Colin said, you, Wood Wizardry said, you can never have too much wood. There is when you get in a stage, you can't got enough room for it, Colin. I built a rack. Oh, was it over Christmas? Yep. To fit, it's, no, um, it's before Christmas. Was it? Oh, it might have been over, yeah. 2.4 metres long by 6 foot high. Got four shelves on it. And I built a rack to put all my wood on. And uh, then someone rang me up and gave me a load more. Now it's in front of her. And there's, now I ain't got enough room for it all. Um, Adam said his smelt like burnt sugar when he was turning it. Have you made that table yet? No, don't be silly. As for me, that won't get made until whenever. I don't get my stuff. I'm not priority, oh, Roy. Go. Here we go. Let me just get the violins out. You know, the master asks for his smock to be washed. Wash his smock. You know. Yo, as long as you got your pro as long as you know that I am the master, we're all right. <laughs> You'll be taking the smock as it is, mate. Smock you now. Right, that one. And that one. And that one is not very... Sh oh, no, that ain't the one I want. Um, this one. And Doug Miller's put hashtag table for Nikki. <laughs> Ben's, ben put, doesn't matter how much would you stock up on it, it's never the right size or colour for the project you have in mind. <laughs> no, he's not given it away. What? The table. No, they're on about the wood. Oh, right. Don't give it away. <laughs> Barry's Wood Creation said he's got st room for more wood if you want to bring it over, lol. <laughs> Boy well, he said he's having to store his over his the small barn that he uses. Yeah, Len, so Steve, funnily enough. What's that? He's put Nikki same here. My wife always after me to work on the house. I'm a home improvement contractor. Yeah, well, we've been in our house 21 years the end of this month. And for 21 years, you know, my living room's been decorated about twice. Um, once by me. 
yeah. And she we keeps saying, yeah, we'll have a new carpet. We'll have a new carpet. Do you know what? The house came with the carpet. I'm sick of it. That's the only reason we bought the house, because it had a carpet. And we, he wouldn't have had this hall stairs in London when replaced had he not turned the radiators off when he tried to bleed him. So the water flooded all over the floor. So, yeah. So, um, and the fact that the oldest daughter is moving out, the youngest daughter's going into her room, who's coming to decorate? His dad. Not him. This. No, his dad. I don't do decorate him. Anyway, rant over. Roy, he wouldn't dare use my table. <laughs> Andy said they have plenty of space for wood. <laughs> Did I drink my coffee? No. I'll drink my coffee and I've got to snip in. Did you choke on that? That was really funny because I was reading what Benjamin put. Right, this is really funny. He's put, Steve, I've been thinking about this for a while now. And please don't take it personally as it's not meant to offend. Well, I don't think those red covered doors match the rest of the workshop theme. <laughs> <laughs> he likes red. Well, there's red doors over this side as well. So there's red doors over that side as well. So they match. Brian put Steve's a joiner, not a painter. He's not a nothing, Brian. He's still... <laughs> Don't matter what need doing in my house. My living room door needs a door stop on it. Right. Yeah, and why has it not got a door stop on it, Nick? Because you used to slam it, Steve. No, no. I never used to slam it. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I never used to slam it. <laughs> Colin would we said it'd be a busman's holiday for Steve. The reason they ain't got a door stop on it is because Nicola had a pad. He slammed the door and the door stop snapped off. I always put, why keep decorating? If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Exactly. If I kept the hands off the wall, they wouldn't need to be decorated, would they? Right, so I need to try and get one more size up. So what's the next size up of... Oh, shut up. We're turning by Barry, but you should be lucky, Nicky, to have such a talented man. <laughs> Pity the talent don't go into the house. Right, I think. I know that, Robert. Do you know what? Robert Bortwood said exactly that. Nicky, painters' houses and carpenters' houses never get work on. When Steve started, everyone said that to me. And I went, no, Steve's not like that. Steve ain't like that. No, he would do it. He's really good. No, he wouldn't do that. He does. He don't do it. So, Dr. Bob said, five pin bowling balls had no holes. You held them in your hand. Oh, so, right. ten pin bowling became more popular in the mid-50s in Ontario, where my uncle switched to ten pin handset until the 70s. Good to meet girls. <laughs> right, I'm just going to go and sort this stuff out. I'll be back in a second. I don't want to go away. I want to just check that, make sure that that just quite close to the. I want to just check the diameter of that, make sure. Oh, you got loads of meat there. Yeah, you can see the oil there. Look, coming out of the wood. Look at that.
Du, 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 du. Right, so I think that will be as far as I go through with that big piece. Take that force a bit out of there. Back over there. Just gonna let that cool down a little bit. Uh, what we got? Speed on turn now is about 700 RPM. So what we do now is we will use to start with the Simon Hope. Uh, Simon Hope follower uh, with the six mil cutting bit on it to start cleaning that out. It's nice little light passes to start with. Should move it in a little bit more so we're not quite so far of the tourist. Got a bit of light in there as well, I think. Don't know if you guys can see if I mute you on this camera, whether you'll see better. Oh, you might be able to see better there. Stop that and focus that in for you. So there you go. So we're just, just using that in there to hollow out. Yes, if I move that camera, oh, I can't move that camera in no further. It's, uh... I'm going to set a camera up next to this one, so hopefully you'll be able to see a bit better. That'd be a better idea, won't it? I want to try and get that natural curve of our bowling ball. I'm going to move that round a little tiny bit so I can see a bit better. And there you can't see Jack. So that's a bit easier. I can get to it a bit easier. Now. A nice slight passes. You don't want to be too heavy. If you get too heavy, you'll end up with a lot of vibration, which you want to try and get away from. So as you can see, there's a crack in the bottom there, but we can't do a lot about that. The wood, unfortunately, that's the type of wood it is.
<laughs> Thank you very much. trying to check my thickness so we're about right there just a little bit thick on that bit there King Owls is on. Hi Martin, how you doing? Get in there, just a little bit more. Chris Dodds wanted to know what speed you was turning at. About 700, I did say that. Alright. Very dusty. Very dusty. Malcolm Douglas is on. Hi Malcolm, how you doing? So it's fairly equal now, just a little bit more. Trying to keep the wall as equal as we can get it. the hair and through my look just a little bit thicker I think yeah just a little bit you don't keep it try and keep it the same thickness if there's a little bit of moisture in it as it dries it will crack you don't want that We don't want it really thick anyway. We want it because it's quite a heavy wood. We want it as thin as we can get it. Oh, Roy's having a hot cup of chocolate. He could bring this one, couldn't he? So I think we are getting very, very close. <laughs> we just got to get rid of that little knobble in the middle there, where we had from the force a bit. Seiko Design said it's progressing well. The texture is the same outside and inside. Yeah, it's a nice word. It is a nice word.
Roy said maybe next week. <laughs> Dues is on. Hi Mick, how you doing? <laughs> Look at the crud on my bit where from the oils in the in the wood. Just move this tool rest a little bit closer, so we've got a little bit. We've got quite so much overhang in our piece. Right, let's clean that muck out of there, and we can see what we're doing. So other than just cleaning the bottom out. Frederick Day's on. Hi Frederick. Welcome. Welcome everybody. Hope everybody is well. He's put been in the workshop this morning. Very brave I am. It was minus one, but has now risen to plus one. I envy those with heated workshops, but I did it. <laughs> Roy said don't do a funnel, Steve. Who? Roy. Try my best, boy. Got a little bit of vibration there, just on that little bit there. I reckon that's... John said, have you got the extractor on, Steve? Uh, I did that. I turned it off because it was getting on my nerves. Right, let's just check that. You can see it's very, uh, Good thing is it's dusty, but there's not like light dust that floats in the atmosphere. Not like if you was doing a bit of ash or something when you're sanding with all the dust. It's actually quite a heavy dust, so it's it's sort of sinking straight down to the the bottom. Right, I'm oh, just a little bit in that bottom corner. I think that's going to be it. I'm confident. So Seiko Designs put nice work, elegant, sensitive, without aggressive movements. Very good. Thank you very much, sir. Right. That is fan dabby dozy. I like that. Yeah, so, it is, Frederick. He's, he's just joined and is that a bowling ball yet? It was. It was. Well, I'm just going to have a swig of drink because I've got a bit of a dry throat. So... What we've got to do now is we've got to try and sand that um, inside. So I'm going to use my poking stick. And because of the texture until we've got a little bit, not a ridge, but like it's just a few, you can just feel where the texture tool's been. I'm going to start with 120 grit and hopefully we can get it out with 120 grit. I can get my finger, I think I can get my fingers in there safely actually. Just like passes, I think I can get my fingers in there. So extractor on. Just light passes, just to get rid of those little lines. Not pushing too hard because we'll overheat the 
the paper. Turn down to about 800 RPM. Just want to get rid of those little marks from the texture until um, the hollow until really. Better. So I'm not actually grabbing hold of the the uh, sandpaper. I'm just resting the paper between my little finger and there. So if it does take the paper, my hand's not going to go with it. Don't wrap the sandpaper around your hand. So if it, if it does grab the paper, your hand's going to go with it. With this way, the paper's just going to get snatched out of my hand. And then uh, we're not going to get any hurt to ourselves. We're going to use the 120 to get rid of all our imperfections. And then we're going to use the other grits to remove the grits of the previous grits. Just trying to get down the bottom there. That's much better. Ooh. Excuse me. Lucy's off. They've got to go get a few bits and pieces, so she'll catch up later. See you later, Lucy. Have a good day. Um, Kev at 9K Creations. Hi, Kev. Said hi, everybody. It's late again. <laughs> Just need to try and get down the bottom there. How am I going to get down the bottom there? Let me use my stick, see if that helps. I'll get a bit of 100 grit and put down the bottom there, I think. <clears throat> I'll take that down a bit better. Bit of, um, oh, not that. That's a bit too coarse, 80 grit. Why is it always the last one you pull out of the box? Oh, we ain't got no 100 grit, have we? No, we ain't got none. 80 grit is the lowest I've got. So that'll have to do. So just try and get that down the bottom there. Just try and get the marks out the bottom there. Someone should invent something to go right down the bottom of a bowl or a vase or
and said, Steve, do you have a 35 millimeter arbor and extension? Uh, I don't know, Ben, to be honest. Better. Right, so what did you say to Brian? He's what I'm working on it, Steve. Terry's just put his link in for tomorrow. Have you got to do are you doing a live tomorrow, Brian? So no, drop... Brian's not doing a live tomorrow because that, that's the uh wood turn 360 meeting tomorrow. Which I'm gonna miss again because I'm demoing. Just so selfish. <laughs> Watch it on, I have to watch it on catch up like I did Chris Parker's. Not the same as watching it with everybody else though. See so what you really want to do the bottoms is like a Simon Hope head but on a straight shaft handle so you can put a sand and pad into it so it still rotates but it goes in depths hmm. 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 I've got an old Robert Sorby inertia sander I might have a play around with that Oh god, that is so cold, even out here. Not cold out here, 17 degrees out here. I don't care. I'm fristed. We're just going to round that top over a little tiny bit. <gasps> Look. Should do this with tools really rather than sandpaper, I suppose. That's All the gear, no idea. That's my next live. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna sand a bowl, I'm gonna turn a bowl just by sanding it. Hey, all the gear, no idea. About right there. <laughs> Yeah, so Terry's put his link in for tomorrow. Um, so Kev said, talking to the berry lot and they are all awaiting your demo excitedly, Steve. Ooh, they're going to be disappointed, aren't they? <laughs> Brian said, needs a bit... Oh, where'd it go? It needs a bit of a dome on the end as well, Steve, for conical shape of, of the bottom. I'm going to have a play with that, see if I can come up with something. We need something to go down the bottom. So four canals, but Steve, you never answered me. So I'm asking your lovely wife of yours. Can I send you some forking flowers? Send me some flowers. <laughs> send me some flowers if you want. <laughs> well, he said, like I said, Steve, the Simon Hope Blue Arbor Kit. All right, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. But I think it needs to rotate, personally. Because if not, you're going to end up with swirl marks. If you're going around that way and you just got a pad that's going to end up with swirl marks, it needs to rotate so it doesn't leave the swirl marks. Benjamin said, Steve, a 35 millimeter arbor with two soft pads and extension works a treat. Barry's Wood Creation said, never mind, you have pleasure of my company tomorrow night. <laughs> Barry's my chaperone. He's my bodyguard. <laughs> Make sure he behaves himself, don't you, Barry? Thank God, because if not, it means I'd have to go. Once a week's enough being in here. 
Even that's too much time of year, isn't it, mate? Yeah. You need to keep him out later than 10, though, Barry, so I can get into bed and asleep before he gets out here. <laughs> that will be tomorrow night. We'll be a late one tomorrow night. That's a shame. Oh, sorry, who did I say aloud? <laughs> Little Jim. Oh, he said he's asking if he can send me some flowers. <laughs> oh, right. Apparently he asked if he could send me some flowers ages ago. <laughs> you don't want to send me flowers. <laughs> oh, I've paused you. Oh, what have I done? Right, so uh, two forty. <laughs> Barry put Steve behave himself. No chance. <laughs> I'm a good boy, Barry. Who give me a bad reputation? You don't need Barry to do that. You do that for yourself, mate. I'm very good. I'm a good boy. <laughs> So that's 240, 320. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Pete, I'm cutting carrots. You can eat again. So I'm going to say it's up to 400 to get rid of some of those fine scratches because it's a hardwood and then we're going to Yorkshire grit it so the final one 400 just remember when you're sanding make sure you've got your extraction going don't want to be sanding without extraction So that is sanded up to 400. Let's check something. Right, so as you can see, you've got little score lines in there, whereas radius. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to sand and seal that. Let's have a swig of my drink. So we're just going to clean that up with a little bit of mess, get rid of the oil and that off of it. Colin said with his logo, okay? Uh, I don't know, Colin. I haven't had a chance to check it out, your new one anyway. Every time I... You keep changing it, man. Um, but I will check them. I hope they get on on this afternoon. I hope they get the t-shirt virtually sorted today, whether I will or not, I don't know. I don't seem to be enough hours in the day. So we're just going to... If you don't eat your tea, you'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got a little bit. I'm a, bit, a splinking freezer that here, Kev. I tell you, he says that's warm a lot. 
15.4 degrees. You stood right in front of a heater and exit and all. I'll turn the heating up look. 17 degrees. Shut up, whinging. Start to sound like your mother. Len said the piece looks purple, but the dust looks orange. Piece looks purple? Mm. Right. So Wesley Hannah's on. Hi, Wesley. Get rid of that. Let's bring you back on that camera. That's because it's a bit clearer. There you go. It don't look purple now. Um, so I want to put this back in this tub. So I want a bit of tissue. We're going to put some sand and sealer over this, give it a nice coat of sand and sealer. So again, oops, set a low sand and sealer, 60-40. It's a nice generous coat. Light coats are better than thick coats. Nice equal. That's up. Engine. You need a thick coat. Can't hear you. Good. <laughs> I got a jacket on, Kev, with my hood up. That's what it was. Right, so get some. Keep me ears warm. I'm just going to de nib this. Shouldn't swell the grain too much, being a hard wood, but. We're doing it anyway. You can still see the dirt coming out of the wood, so. Kev said it looks a different colour on that camera. Yeah, no cameras, no two cameras give you the same colour, don't matter how you set them. Look, I can set the camera above me and the camera on the tailstock exactly the same on the colour settings and they'll be totally different. And then they're still not the same as what it is like no, seeing it in person, are they? Cameras never give you the true definition. I mean, webcams give you a better quality picture, especially the new Brios, but they don't give you the color range like a, a camcorder does. So they always look different, always look different. Hey ho, is what it is. We haven't got a, uh, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, unless you're spending thousands of pounds on camera equipment, we have to do with what we've got, don't we? All right, so we're just going to burnish this a little bit. Ouch. Seiko Design put beautiful, instructive, high quality performance. Thank you. Colin said grain, pra grain pattern very similar to laburnum. So that's now all polished up. Not po Yeah, it's po sanded to 400 grit. Two coats of sand and sealer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some Yorkshire grit over that, if I can find it, which is in my demo box, which is over here. So we're going to go original and uh, microfine. Now, because we signed up to 400 grit, the original is going to take us back down to 240 grit and then bring us up to 1,000, which is not a problem, I don't think. I don't think it's a problem. Um, but just be aware that if you signed up to 400, it's going to take it back down to... 240 before it starts to come back up. Oops, hold on to the tissue always helps, Steve. So slowly lay down about 500 RPM. We're just going to keep working this over. Don't need to apply any pressure. Just relying on the friction between the tissue and uh, and the piece. If you're pushing too, if you if you're creating heat, you're pushing too hard. Glenn's now ears are bleeding because Joe's singing. Mm -hmm. Susie said, "Looking lovely already." Apparently, Susie. Joe's singing, so. Return Bray said, good for you, Joe. Kev put, go, Joe, go. Mick Doos, that's looking really smart, Steve. Condite Craftsman's on. Hi, Lewis, how you doing, bud? <laughs> Grandpa Jim said, Joe, I can hear you in Florida, USA.
So we're just going to speed up a little bit. Grandpa Jim put Joe, I've missed your song. <laughs> So the more time you spend doing your Yorkshire grit, the better the finish you'll get. Yeah, look at that. You wouldn't believe that come out black like that, would you? Is that the dirt in the wood, do you think, or is that? No, Susie, I don't think so. No, definitely not. I draw the line at that. Being in here freezing my bits off is enough. You're not freezing your bits off. I am fuzz. Well, that's your problem. That sounds like a you problem. That's not cold in here. But it's freezing in here. It's not. It's not freezing in here. It's cold in. Here. Seventeen <laughs> degrees, Nick. It's still cold in. Here. Steve, you're such a pussy. Kev said he looked at the digital from mum in his workshop. It's 0 0.5. Steve says 15. Not 16. And you're sitting right underneath a hot air vent. I'm not sitting under it. Because I'm standing cutting the carrots. Oh, well, that's what it is then. That's what I warm up when I get back in the house. Right, so that's the original. So now we're going to go one more. We're going to go the microfine, which is going to take us up to about 2,000 grit. So we're going to get some clean tissue. I think some tissue's just run out. So That's get another, another roll of tissue. If I can find the end. Where's the end? Oh, it's one of those kiddie proof things. Idiot proof, you mean? So. so again, Chris so Dodd said looks great, Steve. Thank you, Chris. So exactly the same as the original. We're just going to put a thin coat over it. Oh, what is it? That does look purple. Does it look purple in there? No, it doesn't look purple. It does on the camera. I like that. Do you? So we're going to do the process all again. And this should take us up to 2,000 grit. Why are you in four canals? Why are you? Why is everything in um, in capitals? Right. So, strange how it's come off like that colour, isn't it? Like a bluey colour. So we just polish that off with a bit of tissue. Oh, Chris Dodd said, Steve, you've inspired him to do something with his late dad's bowls. He's got eight of them. Oh, 
Well, I'm glad that helps. I'm glad. Um, the thing is, if you're not going to use them, you might as well make something out of them what you can use, can't you? That's the way I look at them. Look forward to seeing what you do, Chris. Make sure you share with us all what you do. Keep your dad's name going. So we're just buffing this off to get the last of the wax and whatever else is left in it. And as you can see, we've really got a bit of a shine from our um, Yorkshire grit, but it's not a finish. It's an abrasive paste, so we need to put a finish over that. Dr. Bob said a neighbour of his makes fine furniture for a living. He intercepted him to Yorkshire Greg and he loves it. He uses, oh, Yorkshire Greg and he loves it. He, use, he uses his vibrating hand sander with wall pads. Problem, can't buy it in the court. That makes sense. Right, so... He said he will, Steve, Chris did. Good man, good man. Right, so that's sanded now up to 2,000 grit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our finish over that. Now you can either put a friction polish over it or you can put a wax over it. I'm going to put a wax over it. But what we've got to be careful is we don't put too much wax over in one go because the grain is still... You can still see where the grain is like little dips in it. So we don't want to put too much on and fill those... Uh, loads of grain up with wax because it may make it go whitey colour so we want to try and put a nice couple of light even coats over it so that we can buff it off together all in one go so I'm using Hampshire Sheen High Gloss Wax my favourite Yorkshire wax. Greg is that a cheaper version <laughs> <laughs> they do sausage rolls as well Yorkshire Greg so gentle passes Don't push too hard because you're just going to burnish off the wax you just put on. That stinks. So that's our first coat. We're going to do our second coat. So this time I'm going to use a piece of um, safety cloth from chestnuts just because it's a little bit softer than the tissue and we get a little bit better finish on it <laughs> bit early brian <laughs> I'll still forget. There we go, nice shine on there. Keep that bit because we need that bit. So as you can see, we've got a nice shine on there. So now we've got to turn it and just take our tenon off the end. So I'm hoping that I can get this bit clamped in the outer rim of my jaws on my lathe. That's what I'm hoping. No. We'll see. 
if it works or not. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, it's not too tight though, because we don't want to be cracking it. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring a tail stock up to start with, just to give us a little bit of support, just in case. We moved the tail stock, didn't we? Actually, let's do it the proper way. Let's relocate the the uh, centers. No, wrong one. Oh, better look at the chat, perhaps. Where did I put the step center gone? What I put back on the shelf. Ben said every Sunday he's amazed by your work. Thank you, Ben. Where the hell's that gone? Oh, well, that's gone. Oh, he how, said, what, well, Dr. Bob said, sorry for the typo, but his problem is Source and Yorkshire grip by the quart. Is it available? You can't buy the quart. Have a word with Easy Wood. Easy Wood Tools own Yorkshire grip now, so they may sell it in bigger quantities if it's requested. So just message him and ask him. Right, so we're back on our centre now. So we'll try again. <laughs> Terry's just typed exactly what you said. <laughs> what? About my messaging him. All oh, right. <laughs> what, spooky. Spooky. You must be telepathic. Brayapathic. <laughs> right, so we'll bring that back up now. That onto there. Just put a little bit of pressure. Don't need loads of pressure on it. Just a little bit of pressure on it. Just enough to hold that while we just take our tenon off the end. So we're just going to use a spindle gouge to remove this tenon. Not a twenty in. Right, the tenon. <gasps> Are you done cutting yourself? No, I just need to drop that down on me at all. Are you be all right? Oh. I still leave. We're going to put a little bit of a concave on the bottom of this. So it's sitting on the edge of the rim of the bowling ball and not actually on the whole base of the... Do you reckon Brian wants you off? That's why he put the link in. Yeah. He's like, for God's sake... He's Steve, had enough Steve, now. <laughs> come on, Steve, for God's sake, I've got, I've got to watch grass grow. Yeah. All right, so we just Kev said those bowls sure are some nice wood. They are. If you can get hold of, if you can get hold of um, one um, and have a go, you, I don't think you'll be. The only, like I say, look at the cracks, and that's the only disappointing thing. But there's but nothing. Does that can, not add to the feature of it? Well, I reckon that's ten pound a crack. I reckon. Um, but it is what it is. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's. it's it's a hard piece of wood. You mean the the bowling ball's perhaps fifty year old, and that'll last another fifty years. Is a is a something else. So, if I just put them, so a nice little finish on there. Matthew Lawrence is on. Hi, right, Matthew. How you doing? Kev said you was doing, Nicky, you was doing carrots. I was doing Reese buds. 
I'm now on to cutting some cabbage. Some for the rabbits, some for us, because I really enjoyed that last week. Well, not last week, so I think cooked last week. Oh, that was clever. Tip of the day, don't catch a gouge on the bed of the machine. Just sand that up, I think, quickly. Just get some arbor on there and just sand it up quickly. Klondike said, um, bowling balls here are all synthetic, make cool stuff, but very challenging. Yeah, I can imagine. Roy said you should texture the bottom. Uh, I don't think, with that crack in there, I don't know if that'll catch on the crack, to be honest, Roy. We sand this up to 400 grit. Kev said, Would the cracks fill? Uh, they would, but I think if you're filling that, it looks worse sometimes. Perhaps sometimes better off just leaving it natural. John Mooney said he's inspired to get his ball out. Easy, Tiger. <laughs> Ryan said it'd make the texture really nice. Did the bottom. Yeah, you just put me off a minute ago. Huh. Well, we'll have a go for you, just for you lot. Oh, that's all right, I'll freeze that area a little bit longer. Thanks, boys. All right. Bit of texture in them. If it don't work, I'm going to blame you lot. Uh, slow lay down. Prize pit. I can't. I can sneeze. Sort of He's put, um, hashtag week video. That's okay. It's Nikki. It's not cold in the workshop, apparently. <laughs> it's not, Brian. It's not cold here. There you go. A little bit of texturing. Just to keep you all quiet. I need more than a brandy. Roy, tell you what. Really go off people, you know. Should have read your comment out now. I need a never known. Right. Just put a little bit of uh, gold embellishing wax in there. Len said, work's calling, so I need to see the end later. Have a great week. 
See you later, mate. Thanks for coming over. Ben, I would, but I don't know how to do it, mate. <laughs> What's that? Turn the thermostat up. It is on. It's on 18 degrees. It's not. It's 17. Don't say 18. The machine is saying 18 degrees. Well, the machine's wrong. I've never known such a wind in all my born days. <laughs> You got dressed, you'd be all right. Well, that's just weird because it makes it sound like I've stood out here blinking naked, you wally. Well, no, but you're in your pajamas. <laughs> it's cleaning day. Clean. Have a shower. Clean pajamas. Right. Right. I know but I've got six pairs on. That's ridiculous. So, I think we're done. I think we're done. Put that back up there. Out Robert the bought with 10 man. That looks great, Steve. Thank you. Put that away. Put all these tools away out of the way. <laughs> Brian put hashtag video week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not reading them out. I'm not reading them. <laughs> Lewis, but how about a little groove to frame the texture in? And Brian said I was just about to say that, Lewis. You can go off people, can't tell you? Tell you what you lot, I'll tell you, yeah. You can really go off people. I just like to hear me stand out here freezing. Which you're not freezing. Feel my hands. They freeze. Well, you cutting vegetables up. What do you expect? <laughs> you ain't going to do it. Right. Do you know what? You lot are going to get me in blooming trouble, you lot. <laughs> I hope no one's waiting for you to finish to go on. <laughs> Just use the, uh, that's the Les Fawn detailing tool. It's the one that stabbed me in the arm last week. Could have been think, worse, could have been me. I think I was Les pay I think I was Les's payback for getting me getting him to sign it. And before anybody ask, no, I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> Lewis put seventeen's tropical Nikki. Everyone's put hashtag video weekend. <laughs> So they want you to go. They really don't want to see you do anything else. Well, that's Bloom and Brian and Lewis's <laughs> fault. They wanted me to do it. Kev said, that's better, Steve. And um, Dr. Bob says, well balanced. I think he's vented all the hot air into here, but I've just got all the cold in here. Believe me, love, you've got enough hot air for both of us. Right. Just going to wipe off those bits there. Did you say wash that smock on 100 degrees? And there we go. You want it for your teddy bear, did you say? What's that? Your smock. Smock. The one you wanted washing. Oh yeah, sorry, I was concentrating on other things. If Brian put bottoms nearly finished, it's time for hashtag video week. <laughs> right, so little pot, right. Graham Haynes said that looks really good. I like that. Roy, I knew my idea was good. TJ said don't forget the hashtag video week. Um you lot are crazy me. You're crazy me. Doug for hashtag table for Nikki. Oh. Right, so. Bowling ball pot. Is it a pot? No, is it a bowl? I don't know. You, you decide. So We're in the pot. I thought pots had to have lids. Bit of texturing. With rings. With rings. Mm -hmm. So anyway, nice little pot. 
whatever you want to call it. It's got that crack going through it. I don't think that'll open up anymore, but we'll see what happens. So, yeah, so inspired to, by, to me it won't by... Won't that it's too cold. Um, <laughs> by... Shut up, woman. Or I'm going to cancel <laughs> your mic. Please. <laughs> um, so that is... Um, it was inspired... Like I say, I went to the Turning Club a couple of weeks ago, and they... Um, they can Let me see. see. I know they can. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they, a couple of guys done some little pots, so I thought I'd have a go. So, yeah, I'll stick some pictures of this up after the live. Um, so thank you to... <laughs> Lewis said, make a lid. Oh, no, not tonight. <laughs> so I will get that up. I will get some pictures of that up and also um, on social media. So um, thank you very much. Um, so thank you very much for coming <laughs> over and joining us. We better go because if not, Winge and Willie's going to moan even <laughs> more. So um, hashtag week. Yes, I will do the hashtag week. So anyway, thanks guys for coming over. So don't forget Terry's on tomorrow lunchtime. Brian won't be on tomorrow night because there's a 360 club meeting, um, which you could be a part of if you wanted to. Um, just all you need to do is go over and subscribe to it. Uh, the link is, I think it's www360. I'm not sure. But I will check quickly um, and stick the link in, unless Brian or someone else, www.360. I don't know what it is. Is it not in your bit below? No, it's, uh, oh, I don't know, that's Microsoft. Oh, wood turn, isn't it? What's wood turn? There we go, there it is. That's the one. Right, so if you want to be part of the 360 Club, all you need to do is go over and follow this link and become a member. And then you can watch the demo tomorrow night as well. There's not a demo tomorrow night. It's a talk tomorrow night. What they do is they have a, a live demo once a month. And a couple of weeks later, they have a get together to just discuss the demo, how it went, what people thought, good things, bad things, and things like that. And then also do a show and tell. So it's a really good club for £5 a month. Um, you get two meetings a month. And there's loads of other extras. There's loads of other extras as well. So well worth joining. So with that, we're going to go. I will play the hashtag week. I'm going to put my mouse. Or actually, I've got the button here. I'll press the button now. So thank you very much for coming and joining us. Have a great week. Take care. Speak to you soon. And bye for now. Say bye, Nick. Bye, bye Nick. Nick. <laughs> bye. bye. Take care, everyone. Bye.